Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem. Today, we have a challenging number theory question that will put your mathematical skill to the test. Get ready to dive into the world of math and explore a problem that might request you to apply some important theorems. Here is the challenge. Let's define j as the integer represented by 201 factorial times 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 uh, all the way to 1 over 201. Your mission is to find the remainder when j is divided by 202. But here is the catch. Before we unveil the solution, I encourage you to hit that pause button, grab your thinking cap and give it your best shot. Test your problem solving skill and see if you can crack this mathematical puzzle. Ready? Take your time to work on it and when you're ready, We'll walk through the solution together. Let's get started. Before we dive into solving the problem at hand, you might be wondering why it revolves around the number 201. But let's take a moment to ponder. What if we were to change or generalize this problem? Is there a pattern waiting to be discovered? Let's explore this together. From the given definition, J1, equals 1 and when divided by 2, it leaves a remainder of 1. j2 equals 3 and when divided by 3, it leaves a remainder of 0. j3 equals 11 and when divided by 4, it leaves a remainder of 3. So far, it may seem like there's no clear pattern to follow. But now, let's be patient and consider j4. Its value is 24 plus 12 plus 8 plus 6. If we pair 24 and 6 and 12 with 8, we get 30 and 20. Each of these pairs is divisible by 5. Thus, we conclude that J4 gives a remainder of 0 when divided by 5. The key technique here is pairing, and it simplifies our calculation significantly. Let's keep this technique in mind as we proceed. When we observe the pairing process, an interesting pattern emerge. We consistently end up with factions having a numerator of 202 before simplification. These factions are paired with integer in the denominator ranging from 1 to 201 except for 101. As a result, the sum of these faction 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, all the way to 1 over 201 except for 1 over 101 can be expressed as 202 times the sum of 1 over 1 times 201, 1 over 2 times 200, all the way up to 1 over 100 times 102. Going back to the definition of J, let's rewrite it with the knowledge we have just uncovered. It becomes clear that J is a sum of a multiple of 202 and the integer 201 factorial divided by 101. Now, let's focus on the integer 201 factorial over 101. Since 201 factorial is the product of integers from 1 to 201, we can break down the integer 201 factorial over 101 as the product of the integers from 1 to 100 multiplied by the product of integers from 102 to 201. Recall Wilson's theorem, which states that p minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod p, where p is a prime number. While this theorem is named after John Winson, a notable mathematician and judge, it is interesting to note that he did not provide any proof of this result. It was Ralph gave the first proof in 1771. Let's continue. Since 101 is a prime number, by Wilson's theorem, 100 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. Now, the product of the integers from 102 to 201 is equivalent to the product of the integers from 1 to 100, which is essentially 100 factorial. Hence, it is also congruent to negative 1 mod 101. Therefore, the integer 201 factorial over 101 is congruent to 1 mod 101. 
we have established that the integer 201 factorial over 101 can be expressed as 101k plus 1 for some integer k. If k is odd, then this number is congruent to 101 mod 202. But if k is even, it is congruent to 1 mod 202. It is clear that 201 factorial over 101 is an even number. So we conclude that it is 101k plus 1 for some odd k. Hence, it is congruent to 102 mod 202. This leads us to the answer for the problem. J is congruent to 102 mod 202. So the answer is 102. As we wrap up today's problem, I encourage you to take on the challenge of the general case. It is a great way to expand your problem solving skill and I'm sure you will find it rewarding. Share your answer in the comments below. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more exciting math challenge in the future. Until next time, take care and bye bye.